everyone. This is Nikki with Design Like a Pro with a great advanced InDesign tip for you today. I'm going to show you how to utilize InDesign to have multiple page sizes in one InDesign document. Now there are two techniques for this. I'm going to show you the first one. The second one you'll be able to see in my all new course that I'm releasing on tootsplus.com in the very near future that's going to show you how to use that second technique as well as a bunch of other advanced print design options. So this is just a little preview for you that I'm going to dive into in a lot more detail in that course. Now what's awesome about multiple page sizes in InDesign? Well, if you're if you're creating letterhead, that is one of the best projects for this technique because you're going to have your letterhead, you're going to have your business card, and you're more than likely going to have an envelope. Those are the three sort of key parts of a letterhead that you'll design for. And in the past, you would have to create three different InDesign documents to accommodate the three different sizes associated with those letterhead documents. Well, with later versions of InDesign, CS5 and above, there's a new feature for the page tool. And that page tool allows you to create different sized pages within one InDesign document. It's a beautiful thing that makes life so much easier. And what's great about doing this with letterhead particularly is that you can have this all in one document and see your design as you're working across all three of these. And it's all in, in the same place. It's really, really cool. So how do you use this technique? Well, the first step is we're going to create a new document. And you can see that I have preview checked because I'm using InDesign CC. So that's a feature of InDesign CC to see what we're doing here. And I'm going to uncheck facing pages. In this this first technique, we are going to create pages that stack on top of each other. They're not related to each other. So unchecking this is what we need to do. I'm just going to create a letter document size right now, and I'm going to create three different pages. We're going to create the letterhead, the business card, and the envelope. One of the pros of this technique over the second technique is that you have the ability to change your margin and column settings on each individual page. So I'm going to leave this default for now and show you how you can do that once we're inside the document. And then I'm going to go ahead and create my bleed as always. Love having the bleeds on my print items. And then we're going to hit OK. And this is no different than just creating three pages in InDesign right now. So they're all stacked up, ready to go. So this is where the magic comes in. Selecting the page tool, you'll get a similar effect to if you were having the transform tool in Photoshop or in InDesign around an object. We get that sort of effect here. So we can click and drag this to resize it if you want to. But the best way is to be very specific up here in your panel that appears that allows you to make some adjustments to your document. Okay, so we're going to use this panel to make our change. We're going to leave the first page alone. We want to make that work with the letter, so that's fine. So we're going to work on the second page. Now, you're going to use the page tool in this workspace. You're not going to select your page over here in the pages panel. It's important that you select the page you want to change the size for in the workspace. So we click that. We see our size options. This is going to be our business card. And so InDesign comes with a US business card default. I click it and now my page is resized to fit my business card size. And you'll notice that nothing has changed with the first page and nothing has changed with the third page. It's only made those changes to the second page. And now if I want a horizontal business card, we're ready to go. But if you want a vertical business card, you just hit portrait over here in your option with your page still selected. And again, nothing has changed with my other pages, just the page that I'm working on. And so we can quickly create different versions of our letterhead on the fly with this feature. And then I move on to page three and we're going to create a standard envelope size here. And in the US, a number 10 envelope is nine and a half by 4.125 inches. That creates a standard envelope. And now if I click off of that, I can see that I have three different pages in InDesign that works great for letterhead. And I can now work on a cohesive design between all of my elements and all of my different page sizes. 
And from there, you now have the ability to move your items around if you want to, and just like you would any other page. And you can go ahead and start designing your document. If you wanted to duplicate your business card, for example, and create double-sided to your business card, you just have to duplicate that and bring it up. So now you have the front and the back, again, all in one document. And if you were to save your PDF, it handles the multiple page sizes very well. If we create a print version here. And so if we do a test and save this out and go ahead and quickly save this PDF. And then if we open that PDF to preview it, you'll see that it's no different than having a regular InDesign document with all of the same pages. The only difference is, is you can now see the different page sizes in InDesign. So you can send this off to a printer, no problem. And notice that my view here is going to be specifically we're viewing this continuously. So if you don't see that option, you want to go to edit preferences. And we have single page continuous fit to page automatically applied to this so that we can see this in one continuous page view here. That's what's important to continue that from InDesign into your PDF. So it really doesn't change things when you go and create your PDF. All right. So that is a really cool way to work with multiple page sizes in InDesign. Again, if you want to see more of this and see the other technique, keep an eye out on tootsplus.com for my full course that's going to go over that technique as well as more advanced print options. We're going to design, actually design letterhead with the letterhead envelope and business cards with this multiple page size in InDesign. And then we're also going to design an advanced direct mail piece with very interesting folds. So that course is coming soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave comments below if you think this tip is going to help you in your workflow or if you have a different project instead of letterhead that this may come in very handy for. There's a lot of other things out there that this is helpful for. Letterhead's just one. Please subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with all the latest here at Design Like a Pro and I'll see you in the next episode.